Hello everyone. We are a group of seven members all from BIT Vellore and in this video we'll be talking about a project that we completed under the guidance of Professor Baskadas on homemade or low cost water filters that can be used in case of emergencies. We'll be analyzing a few filters based on their cost, their re reusability factor, uh, the materials used in making them as well as the use of uh, the ease of assembly in case of emergency and the portability factor of these filters. Also, the website links of some of the filters and the reference materials used in this video are given in the description box and we do not intend to violate any copyrights or privacy rights in this video. So let's get started. Hi guys, this is Surya. So this video is basically divided into two parts. First part is uh, the most common domestic filters use and the other part is I'll be discussing here the brands of the commercial water filters. So coming to the first part. So now I'll be explaining the most common domestic filters such as treatment of water by straining through cloth and three pot method and by boiling. So the first one is filtration through cloth. So here a cloth is placed over the pot most preferably cotton as it has some thickness and when we pour the water the solid impurities are collected over it and we'll remove it and so the uh, puri purified water gets down into the pot and we, we can use it for drinking purposes so the advantages are it's very simple and almost no cost and the one only the one drawback is a cost may be high depending upon the energy source used so this is the picture you can see and the other thing is the three pot method this three pot method follows the process of sedimentation so when we uh, take the source water in the first pot and we need to uh, like pour the water into the second pot and the solid impurities which are relatively big are uh, inside the first pot and the particles which are relatively small are inside the second part so when we put the second pot or uh, undisturbed for 24 hours the by the process of sedimentation the uh, small particles get settled down and we can uh, uh, take away the pure water from the second pot and we can uh, transfer it into the third pot so it's also very simple to use and uh, it significantly reduces impurities and pathogens and in both this process the bacteria is not removed only the solid impurities are removed uh, so this is a picture and these uh, bacteria can be removed by uh, boiling the water. So if any germs or microorganisms present inside the water, they are removed by boiling. We need to boil it at around 100 degree or 110 degree Celsius. And the advantages is it's very simple and it almost takes only the gas of the gas. So and the drawbacks is no, I, uh, actually the cost is relatively high because if it is used in any other factories or they require high uh, uh, high amount of gas so it may be high for that reason okay thank you hi everyone this is Aditya Jain um, my analysis includes three parts first one treatment by chlorination chlorination is simple simple and effective way to disinfect water uh, it, it is done by introducing chlorinated products such as chlorine tabs, bleaching powder to water and is acted for 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, the water will be drinkable. Its main advantages are uh, muddy water can also be made drinkable. When done properly, pathogens are eliminated and chlorination has a durable effect. Its main drawbacks are uh, it, handling risks are involved. A lot of handling risks. And the next drawback is non, it has a non-negligible cost. This is a basic diagram of chlorination. Feel free to pause the video and check this out. Second method is by treatment by slow sand filtration. Sand filter is eco-friendly and uh, water, uh, it's an eco-friendly water tool, uh, which, is, which is relatively simple and cost little. It can be done by two kinds, pre-treatment sand filters. Here, the filter serves the, serves the same purpose as straining water through cloth. The, its main advantages are it's easy to use, it has low cost, and it's suited for emergency situations. Its drawbacks are it only allows summary water treatment, and it can only be used as a pretreatment method. 
the second one is biological sand filter this filter is a way a good way to both filter and decontaminate water its advantages are if it is po- properly maintained it's very durable its uh, drawbacks are the treatment may take a lot of time and maintenance is involved this is a basic diagram of slow sand filter feel free to check this out the third treatment is sodis method sodis method is suitable for developing countries as this method method just involves sunlight and a lightweight transparent plastic bottle made from pet which is polyethylene terephthalate uh, this bottles filled with water are exposed to sunlight for 6 hours the uv radiation kills infectious germs including viruses and other pathogens its main advantages are it's easy to use it has no cost it's effective and reliable its main drawbacks are the treatment time which involves 6 hours and low volume of water can only be treated This concludes my part. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of the video where we'll talk about some commercially used filters and their brands. The first one on the list is Life Straw. Now this amazing ultralight and portable device filters water as we drink it and it costs around 3 pounds. It uses two stage filtration technology and removes bacteria and parasites in addition to removing bad taste. chlorine and organic chemical matter it's ideal for camping travel and emergencies and can also easily fit into emergency survival kits we can simply blow into the device to avoid clogging but this device is better suited for emergency and temporary situations and for many regions the cost is still too high it is also somewhat difficult to drink through it and one needs a lot of patience while doing so moving on to our next system that is the solvitan method so solvitan isn't just any brand it's an organization whose mission is to provide people living in developing countries with safe and hot water in a portable environmentally friendly way this method was perfected by the swedish body of the same name and is a clever adaptation of the sodis method It has filters at the bottleneck to remove suspended impurities and then it uses sunlight for UV sterilization which is highly effective in destroying microorganisms. This method is very simple to use and is very reliable. Some of its drawbacks are that the containers have to be purchased in Sweden and shipped from there which increases its cost up to 70 pounds which can't be afforded by low income families. the water is not protected against decontamination when not drunk fast enough solvitan was designed by the swedish inventor and environmentalist petra wattstrom who was awarded the nobel prize in 2018 for his invention next up is the mini faucet water purifier water purifier developed by filtergenics this filter is not very much related to a topic like it can't be used in case of emergencies or anything but it has a very innovative approach and that's why we decided to include it in our video it is a very fast durable and effective water filter which costs around 50 dollars and it's very easy to install we just need to adjust it on our taps this filter removes chlorine odor and a variety of toxic and hazardous substances through mechanical filtration that is by passing through multiple layers of porous materials as you can see here and also by electrical filtration where the water is um, passed through an uh, electrically charged layer which in this case is activated carbon on top of this it also acts as an aerator and drastically reduces the use of plastic water bottles one of the drawbacks of the filter is that prolonged use with hot water can lead to degradation of filter material like pva as it is soluble in water and also that there is no cleaning mechanism for this filter we can backwash it a few times to avoid clogging between the filter layers but still we need to replace it in every 2 months with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you all liked it and if you found the video informative don't forget to like it and do leave your valuable reviews positive or negative in the comment section below Thanks for watching and have a good day.